What's up, everyone? I'm Harpreet Sahota, hacker in residence at Voxel 51. I've been doing this series where I'm diving into papers that are being presented at CVPR and giving you the cliff notes of these papers. If you're going to be at CVPR in Seattle, Washington, come by the Voxel 51 booth. That's booth 1519. We're going to be right across from the Amazon Science booth and the Meta AI booth. Come say hi. I'll hook you up with some swag. The paper I'm going to talk about today is View Diff 3D consistent image generation with text to image models. Models. Generating 3D assets with high visual quality and consistency from a text description or a 2D image is kind of sort of actually pretty hard to do. Methods like Dream Fusion and Fantasia 3D, while they're innovative, don't consistently achieve high visual quality. Dream Fusion, for example, instead of training a model to directly generate 3D data, optimizes a randomly initialized 3D scene representation so that the rendering of the scene from random angles matches the output of a 2D diffusion model. Fantasia 3D will separately model the shape and appearance of the 3D object using some hybrid 3D representation, which is going to extract the surface normals, which is just the direction perpendicular to the surface at each point to guide the generation of the object shape using a technique called BRDF. That's bidirectional reflection distribution function. And this is going to learn the appearance. Other approaches are going to train diffusion models from scratch on multi-view images. This is going to ensure realism, but it's going to lack diversity because of smaller training data sets. There are other methods out there that are going to use large synthetic data sets to produce diverse results, but they often will lack photorealism and they'll lack surroundings. A big reason that these methods don't produce really high fidelity 3D renderings is because they use a pre-trained text to image diffusion model or they're fine tuning them on synthetic data. And so this is often going to result in non-photorealistic 3D objects that don't have any background. But this paper introduces something called view diff. And this is a method that uses a pre-trained text to image model to generate a high quality multi-view consistent image of a 3D object. And it proposes a method that's going to incorporate a 3D volume rendering and cross frame attention layers into the unit architecture of pre-trained text to image models so that you're able to generate 3D consistent images. So the solution works in kind of the following way. First, you fine tune the 2D priors of text to image models on real world multi-view data sets to produce realistic images of objects and their surroundings in a single denoising process. Then you turn the pre trained text to image models into a 3D consistent image generator by fine tuning them with multi view supervision. And then these layers are going to be integrated into the unit to encode 3D knowledge about these generated objects. The cross frame attention and projection layers are added to each block of the existing unit architecture to encode this explicit 3D knowledge. And then these layers are going to facilitate communication between multi view images, which is going to ensure consistency. Then there's a auto regressive generation scheme that's going to directly render 3D consistent images of an object from any desired viewpoint with the diffusion model. So the scheme allows the model to render images from any viewpoint maintaining 3D consistency. Compared to existing text to 3D models, ViewDiff generates more photorealistic and consistent multi-view images with authentic backgrounds while maintaining the diversity and controllability of the pre-trained text to image model. The generated images can also be used to optimize explicit 3D representations like Nerf, I actually got a chance to have a virtual sit down Q&A session with Lucas Holine, who is the first author of this paper. And Lucas discusses the challenges of training 3D models, the innovative integration of 3D components into a unit architecture and the potential for democratizing 3D content creation. Depending on where you are watching this video, it'll either be attached to the body of the post or I'm going to link to it in the description where you can read it on Medium. I'll see you all at CVPR. Hopefully you come and hang out with me at the Voxel 51 booth. I'll be at booth 1519.